What is good YouTube, Watchy here with a video on the Just Think movie. Now guys, I'm not gonna try to rant, but where do I start? So I feel like we were all robbed of a Justice League movie, the Zack Snyder version. Now it appears that possibly Zack Snyder was actually fired and didn't leave of his own due course. So I'm not sure what went on there, but we've had so much Superman content come out this week that they could have put in the movie. It would have made the movie more transparent for the general viewer. We had the black Superman suit in the Fortress of Solitude where black Superman walked past the suit. Why couldn't they put that in the movie? And now it is apparent that the BVS scene that everyone wanted explaining was supposed to have links to the Justice League movie. So a storyboard has appeared online and before people say it's fake it looks identical to the Deathstroke Lex Luthor one that was verified we had Zack Snyder drawing it it looks identical so in this it looks pretty cool and I did say on this channel that Darkseid was supposed to be in the movie and what's interesting is on Kevin Smith's show someone in the audience did say they seen an unedited version of the movie with Darkseid in it so it was apparent that Darkseid was supposed to be in the movie in some form of it so the release the Zack Snyder cut website I believe it's Fiona um, she posted this image which is very interesting and it says this cyborg jacks into the genesis chamber of the kryptonian scout ship and gets a vision of dark dark side on his throne we then get a glimpse of the hall of justice league sign in rumble then i guess it pans out past it to the show shows the Amiga symbol in the ground similar to the batman nightmare scene what the hell guys so if you see the image, we get Dark Side on the throne. We get what looks like a mother box come in. The Horde of Justice sign looks like it's destroyed. So could this possibly have panned out when Superman was trying to return? Possibly Superman got a vision of Dark Side trying to destroy the Earth. It would have been so transparent. Would have acted dramatic effect to the whole Ezra Miller Batman scene. Lois is the key, not she's the big gun. How they actually played out. But what's more interesting, guys, is who played Darkseid. So obviously, if Darkseid was in some version of this movie, Darkseid must have had a actor. Who would you cast as Darkseid? Obviously, we know possibly Darkseid was supposed to be the villain for Justice League 2. We do know he was supposed to appear in Justice League 1, but for some reason, the powers above at Warner Brothers decided to ax him out, which absolutely makes no sense to anybody that I've spoke to. So also, the famous part of the trailer when Alfred's talking to someone, he said you'd come. Now let's hope we're not too. Let's hope you're not too late. Or something on the lines. It turns out that was actually Superman in the scene, and people did say the movie was unwatchable. Why did they cut this scene? Um, the only footage I can find is from someone called the Film Junkie, um, and it's it's literally just. Superman appearing and I'm thinking why did they cut this bit out? This was one of the most interesting topic points of the movie before it came out. Everyone said it's Shazam, everyone said it's Green Lantern, everyone said it was Superman. Why did they cut all these scenes out? I really hope one day we get to see Zack Snyder's version. I don't even care if it's unedited. It's just a real shame that Zack Snyder had a trilogy. He had Man of Steel when Superman was born, Batman vs Superman when Superman dies, and then Justice League was supposed to be the rebirth of Superman and then going forward with the DCEU and they've absolutely changed that around. I actually am quite annoyed guys, let me know in the comment box down below, are you annoyed? Would you have liked to see Darkseid in it? Um, I hope one day at Comic Con or one day Zack Snyder can come out and publicly say this. I know obviously due to copyright and contract law and stuff, I presume Zack Snyder's not allowed to publicly say anything about what was supposed to be coming out. It's just a massive shame. I hope one day that Zack Snyder can actually come out and just clarify what was supposed to happen in the actual proper movie. I'm pretty annoyed. I was really jumping on the dark side train. I really wanted to see dark side in this movie. Anyway, guys, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and comment. We do DC Marvel content all week long. We'd love to have you here on the channel. Comment down below, guys, and I will see you in that comment section very soon, guys. But first, join Team War Stew to never miss a Marvel and DC video. Anyway, guys, catch ya. Later.